15 feet right out there, right off the bow. Don't want to wound my hand. If that's a grass fish, this could be pretty good. If this is the rock I'm thinking. If this is the rock I'm thinking, we're going to be thinking about mango snappers. Good thing about shallow water mango snapper fishing. On a day like today, we got a westerly flow. We're here on the Big Bend, the Gulf of Mexico, and you don't have to go way offshore. We're in about eight foot of water on these shallow rocks. I can see land right here. We got storms building around us. So if you had big expectations of running out for grouper, uh, you know, 40 foot, 60 or wherever on the shallow side of the Big Bend here on the Gulf of Mexico in Florida, sadly mistaken today, it'd be very rough. So we're gonna show you how to catch inshore mango snapper, save the day on rough days and slick calm days, it can be very exciting too, but today we've got about a two or three foot chop. So you're not gonna be able to see the fish come up on the surface, but we're gonna be catching them and we're gonna show you how. And I'm Captain William Tony, and we are in the spread. All right. Generally in this clear shallow water, you can visually see the structure being overcast and breezy today i like to get right over the top confirm i see it sometimes it's necessary i've used the marking jug and a lot of other videos for marking trout bites and different things so we're using it today to mark this structure so we got a southwest wind and an incoming tide so you have wind coming from one direction tide pushing side on it so what i'm going to do is get up wind and tide of the of my mark here and go ahead and let my anchor out so that way we're fishing for this mango snapper on the down current side of the structure. So we'll be on the up current side, anchored up. Here's, here's our point. You can do it with a GPS and sometimes, you know, it, it can be done that way when you don't have a lot of wind and current. Um, a marking jug works in many different situations and generally it will dial you right into where you need to be. Generally, if the seas are any higher, I recommend always anchoring by your bow. It's a lot safer method. We drop down just a little bit in wind. It's gonna give me the whole front of my bow to fish off of. So we're gonna anchor off the stern right here. And maybe if I can get it to grab again. Okay, got it hung. Let's see if I got it anchored right. 